Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the new Studio Ghibli, I'm probably saying that wrong, I always say that wrong, a movie called Earwig and the Witch. Now, this movie hits theaters February 3rd and will be streaming on HBO Max on February 5th. Now, my family are huge Studio Ghibli fans, we love all all of the movies, I mean, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, I can go on and on and on, Spirited Away, I mean, there's a million of them, but, and we love them all, Howl's Moving Castle, come on, you guys, Howl's Moving Castle, oh, they're all so good, if you haven't dived into this yet, you need to dive into it and watch every single one of them, there's really not a bad one, maybe not, in, uh, and, <laughs> did you see that facial reaction? I'm going to talk to you about Earwig and the Witch, which is their latest endeavor. This is spoiler free, of course. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay, guys. Well, first of all, the first thing you notice is this does not have that Studio Ghibli normal look, right? We've got computer animation now, and it just feels weird. Within the first few minutes, my husband went, well, this isn't really Studio Ghibli because the animation style is totally different, and I will never accept it as, as actually one of those films. And I've got to say, I kind of agree with him. Now, the story itself is fairly interesting. There's takes a little while to get there, but once it gets going, it gets good, and it's really, really interesting. So, Basically, there's this little baby who is left on the steps of an orphanage by someone who literally says, and this is in the first few minutes, okay? Uh, it's written down. It says the 12 witches, I've angered the 12 witches of the coven and I'll be back once I shake them. It may take a while, okay? Then we cut fast forward and, and uh, her name is Earwig, they said, the little baby. Cut, you know, forward and she's now like 10 or so and uh, she's still at the orphanage. So then eventually she does, maybe she gets adopted. She does get adopted or, or fostered or whatever you want to call it. She goes to the home of a witch, okay? Now, this is supposed to be just the plot, I mean, Earwig and the witch, but it takes a long time to get to that point. It's interesting enough before uh, my daughters absolutely loved it. I was a little bored. It was a little slow. I was waiting for something more to happen. And then we finally get to where she's in the home of the witch and things get very, very interesting. I do not want to give spoilers. So I will just say that there's a lot of interesting pieces here. Now, Earwig herself kind of has this little attitude, which I wasn't a fan of. I don't, I don't, I mean, I get why, right? I can't fault her for it. Um, you know, but I don't like her attitude and I, it's not really something I want my children watching and like, I don't want them to mimic it. Uh, but unfortunately when it really, really gets there and then when it ends, it kind of just, that's it. It's, it ends. It's over in a very weird spot. Uh, my, and again, I'm not going to say anything, but I will say that my eight year old immediately started crying and said, but that can't end like that. And Unfortunately, it looks like there's not even a sequel planned. I would understand if this was setting up for a sequel, fantastic job, bravo. You've got me hooked, I need a sequel, I need to know what's gonna happen. If there is not gonna be a sequel, this is going to drive me crazy, not knowing. There's so many unanswered questions that this movie leaves you with that it is a bit frustrating, especially for those who become invested in a story. I know my girls are now speculating all sorts of things that could have happened or could happen in the future. And I don't know, it's a little frustrating. My husband, on the other hand, really liked it. Absolutely loved it. Really enjoyed the story. Thinks that it made sense. Happy with the way it ended. And I don't get how, and I don't want to give spoilers, so I'm not going to explain what his thoughts are, which I kind of get what he's saying, but he's wrong. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I get it, right? It, it's, I suppose it works, but I felt like it didn't tie it up in a neat little bow, which I really like to have in a movie. Um, and I feel like we didn't get that. Now, I do like some of the lessons they teach. I mean, Studio Ghibli is usually all about nature. This one wasn't that much about nature, but it is about kind of a creating a family of your own, maybe um, confidence and stuff like that. But there is, like I said, Earwig's got a little bit of a mean streak. I, understandably so, but I didn't love it. However, there are some really laugh out loud moments. There's some fantastic moments that had me cracking up. Stay through the credits if you are a Studio Ghibli fan for real. They uh, uh, play on like Totoro, Howl's Moving Castle, uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. You get some really fun stuff in the credits, which I really, really enjoyed. Now, I'm not saying that this movie is all bad because it isn't. I think what makes me not love it is that I didn't get a solid ending and it's kind of driving me slowly insane 
trying to figure out what could happen in the future. It's it's really driving me nuts. Um, but I will say, like I said, the computer animation was weird at first, but I fell into it. I liked it. There's some really awesome animation moments that I really enjoyed, especially with the Mandrake. So if you pay attention to that, there's some really cool stuff that they pulled off that I was a big fan of. Um, I watched this dubbed, of course. So, you know, you have to kind of ignore the fact that the lips don't match up with the words. And it's actually, it's a lot more noticeable with this animation style than previous animation styles. But I got over it. It's something that didn't bother me too much. And I knew it was going to happen because again, it is dubbed. There is also a version coming out, I believe, that has subtitles if you prefer to go that way. Uh, but Overall, my kids really liked it. They're hoping for a sequel. I'm hoping for a sequel because I need answers. And my husband really, really enjoyed it. It's a fun family movie. It's definitely geared towards kids, which you can tell. It's a lot more simple than other Studio Ghibli movies, but not in a really, really bad way. And like I said, there's a lot of fun stuff as well. The main thing I didn't like was Earwig's attitude because I don't want my girls to copy it. Uh, she is rightfully so in her attitude at some times. I get it. Uh, but my kids tend to mimic things that they see on TV. And this is not something that I want them to mimic. She's got an attitude and she talks back and she's sassy. Uh, which is, you know, I enjoyed it, but not if my kids are going to copy it. Uh, overall, I did, I did like the story, but like I said, I feel like I need more. It feels like half a story. It feels like it's not complete. Which is why I really want a sequel and hopefully... Maybe we'll end up getting one. I think that would be great. I would love that. My husband is content with how it ended. I don't understand it. Uh, so I think this one's going to have a lot of mixed reviews, a lot of people going one way or the other. I don't know that anybody will be smack in the middle, but maybe they will. Uh, I give it a three out of five because it was enjoyable to watch. Um, it's just, I feel like it's, like I said, half a story and I need more. So hopefully we do get an Earwig and the Witch a sequel in the future. Like I said, this movie is going to be available in theaters on February 3rd, and it will be streaming on HBO Max February 5th. If you have seen this movie already by the time you get to this review, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there, M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E. KY. You guys, let me know if you've seen this. Am I crazy? Does it feel like half a story? Do you need more? I need more. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It shows how much I was into this story and how much I want answers on certain things. Things I'm not going to mention because they are spoilery. But if you've seen the movie, I think you know what I'm talking about. Let me know if you agree. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys.